All right, another video review on official firmware for you guys. This is going to be official firmware 6.20. This is the latest one out for the Sony updater as of um, February, uh, whatever the fuck day it is. Right now, it's the 16th of February, 2010. This is the latest update, 6.20 official firmware. I will be installing this on a PSP 1000 model as shown showing that all the options are available throughout the PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, and the N1000 series, which the N1000, in case you're wondering, is the PSP Go. Um, but other than that, let's get to installing this firmware and giving a little review on it. All right, so here we are at the PSP. Looking at the logos here, the Sends Me channels is here, as well as everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, the only thing that was added in 6.10 from 5.50 and 5.55 um, is the Sends Me channels right here and a few bug fixes for and support for the PlayStation Store. Now, um, other than that, oh my god, um, yeah, so we're just going to connect the USB cable here like so and wait for the PSB to connect to the computer and then come to the PC. Alright, so the file I'm going to have you download is right here, it's the 620.pbp right here, so we're going to leave it like that for now. Scrolling over here, coming to the My Computer, double click on My Computer, open it up if you don't have autoplay, um, and then open up the removal drive for the PSP, and simply open up the PSP folder inside the memory stick, and then the game folder inside the memory stick. Right click, and you're going to create a new folder and call it all in caps an update so let me rename that real quick for you guys all right and as you can see i have renamed it as update all in capital letters it must be all in caps and then enter and open that folder now from the file that you've downloaded the 620.pbp you're going to drag and drop that and copy it to the psp game update folder on the memory stick like so so just simply put it inside that update folder you have just created and wait for that to copy over Oh my god, I smell like gas. Snowblower just broke and uh, had to fix it for my dad, so uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, now, you see how it's labeled 620.pbp. We do not want it like that. You're going to click on it and, well, here, do it the manual way. Right click on it and say rename. Now you're going to rename that eboot. Dot pbp so hold on one second again so you're gonna rename it as that the eboot dot pbp so make sure that you rename it like that and then exit the PSP on the PC here and I'll minimize this to get that out of the way and come to the PlayStation portable all right so back at the PSP we're gonna exit USB mode and unplug the USB cable and scroll over to the game and the memory stick and you should see chilling there like so, the PSP Updater version 6.20. Start that up. And here we go, PSP System Software version 6.20, start. And wait for this to load because it takes forever. Uh, accept the user agreement. And the main features revised in version 6.20. The importing of playlists from the Media Go application is now supported under video. The importing of playlists from the PlayStation 3 system or the Media Go application is now supported underneath photo. So that's what's added there. So just hit right and then hit X to start the update. And voila, we are now updating. So we'll wait for that to finish. All right, so now that that's done, hit X to reboot the system, like so. If I get one more text message, I'm gonna smash my phone. All right, anyways. So here we go. Support for the PlayStation Network is added for the 6.20 users. 
everything underneath network is staying the same game is staying the same and also you can delete the update because you no longer need it coming over to video now mm -hmm. nothing there sends me channels underneath music the music icon is a little bit different if you can notice photo array camera same thing and this thing extras digital comics has been added so that's a new thing right there in case you haven't noticed so an extra icon added on the XMB screen right here on uh, digital comments how um you have to download stuff and it's about 14 megabytes so yeah and i don't really have a big memory stick so i'm not going to download it but that's just to prove it's there so just download the software and then it'll work and then everything else is pretty much the same here as well settings and so forth and lastly coming over to system information version 6.20 but uh that's it so that's updating your PSP on official firmware to 6.20 for all you people who have official firmware and a slight little review on official firmware so um, for custom firmware users a little bit of what to watch out for in the future um, as we move on with custom firmware now I do know that people have had experiences with mad underscore zero zero one and zero zero two which are totally fake custom firmwares which um it's a whole bunch of bullshit i mean if you're gonna like attempt to make a firmware at least have it install before you release it don't waste our time with bombarding us with fake custom firmwares because it's just a whole bunch of bullshit and i don't like it and nobody else likes it and it just wastes our time and it just gets your name lower than everybody else's because your firmware doesn't work so if you can't do it don't even try so other than that take it easy guys you got any questions leave me a comment send me a message i'll be happy to reply if you have any recommendations for any other videos please leave a comment on my channel and i will most likely make that video for you and other than that subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with psp videos uh apple reviews mac reviews computers pcs and cell phones as well um and um there's also a video on an update of my channel if you wish to view that so you can follow me on facebook twitter things like that um but yeah so other than that take it easy guys i'll talk to you later i hope you enjoy this review on 6.20 firmware and i will get back to you as soon as i can with more fun stuff for the psp to come